Vaccinations. Vaccinations often involve an injection of either a dead or weakened version of the disease. The idea is to stimulate the immune system to destroy that disease if you ever get the infection again. It works on the principle of this. Here we've got a microorganism, a pathogen that can cause you harm. In this example, let's just say it's a bacteria. On the surface of pathogens, there are structures called antigens. The immune system will recognize an antigen. And if it is foreign, in other words, not part of your body, it should stimulate the immune system to respond to it. The type of cell that responds to it is a white blood cell. This particular one is called a lymphocyte, but you don't need to know this name for GCSE. They produce proteins in the blood called antibodies. Look at the shape of the antibody. What do you notice about the shape of the antibody and the antigens? If the antibody is produced, it will stick or pair up with the antigen. And these antibodies can be produced very fast, perhaps up to the rate of about 2,000 per second. And they will bind to the bacteria, which can either stop it moving or even kill it. So if you have been vaccinated for this particular disease, this particular pathogen, your immune system can quickly produce these antibodies very quickly to bind to this pathogen and stop it reproducing and spreading. Can you remember how bacteria make you feel ill? One of the ways is that they produce toxins. These can quickly make you feel poorly and kill you. The antibodies can also stick to these toxins and neutralize them. That means they cannot do you any harm. They are still antibodies, but when they do this, they are referred to as antitoxins. This process happens every time you get vaccinated and will happen again if you catch the actual disease.